So when it comes to immunity students, there are actually uh, many types of immunity. Uh, this chart here will give you a good understanding of what it is. Lah, huh? So what I will do is I must explain to you first uh, these terms. Uh, huh? Okay, so over here it says here, immunities, they can be classified into two types. Okay, so like this, uh, uh, there are four words here, natural, artificial, actively, passively. I don't want you all to get confused using these four words. Why? Because later on, uh, what we will do is we will actually make four combinations from this. We have active natural, active artificial, passive natural, and passive artificial. So total got four combinations. Okay. Now, let me explain to you first what does the active and what does the passive mean. The word active means your body will keep on making the vaccine. Keep on making the vaccine. That means today will make, tomorrow will make, in the future also will contain. Eh, sorry, not vaccine, antibody. Sorry, eh, antibody. Today they will make the antibody, tomorrow they will make the antibody, and then in the future also, your body will still keep on making the antibody. That means if the antibody finish, the antibody die, it will keep on producing this antibody. Passive, of course, means that your body, antibody will finish. Antibody will finish. Uh, when it finish means finish, long finish means no more. Uh, means no more. Huh? Natural, so then natural, it means that your body itself, body itself knows how to make the antibody. Uh, that means uh, your body itself will know how to make. Your body itself will know how to make. Don't need to give your body this instruction. Inside, inside, inside itself, it know how to make. Artificial, artificial, and for artificial means thick, like, thick. The body don't know how to make. Must get from outside. Must get from outside. Must get from outside. Example, injection. Ah, when you get an injection, that one is getting from outside. Okay, so later on when we combine, combine them, you will see like, what do I mean by the different combinations. Uh, then now we go to our first combination. Okay, so our first combination, uh, student, uh, is going to be our active natural. Okay, active natural. Take a look over here. All right, so why do we call them as active natural? Let's talk about it again. Active. Active because your body will keep on making the antibody. Okay, for a long time. Natural because your body itself know how to make. Okay, so where does active natural immunity comes from? Active natural immunity comes from you after you recover from a disease. And that means uh, once you get sick one time, you will never get sick again for that particular disease. Uh, for that particular disease. Okay, because when it comes to antibodies, remember, huh? when it comes to antibodies, it is very specific. It is a specific defense mechanism. But it's a, last week, you should have understood. Huh? Uh, they thought I might show you the video, you will know. Because uh, it's, it's like this. Lah. If, you, if, 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 if you have an uh, antigen uh, with this shape, you don't expect an antibody with this shape to fight it, right? Do you expect like this? How, how to fit, you tell me? You, you cannot expect a, a virus that looks like this and then you take something like this to fight it. Agree? No? How to match? Antibodies are highly specific. Means that if, sorry, if your viruses look like this, you must have antibodies which follow their shape. Which follow their shape. Then can. Understand? So that's why I say antibodies are highly specific. When you have recovered from that disease, you will not get sick of that disease in the future or for a very long time. Uh, for example, our smallpox, our chickenpox, uh, generally any kind of disease. Lah. 
any kind of infectious disease, you can get active natural immunity from it. Uh, that's why uh, people like me, or maybe some of you, have you all taken, have you all gotten the chicken pox before when you were young? It's something that is quite common among children. Have you all, take, have you, uh, have you all uh, gotten chicken pox? Is you will get a lot of these uh, red color bumps on your skin, very itchy one, uh, sometimes got blister one. Uh. It will last for a couple of days to a week, two weeks, no matter how. So you are quite lucky, like you are. I got it, I remember when I was six years old, six years old, six years old, I got it, a chicken pox. Wow, so terrible. But then I heard from the doctor, in the future, I will not get it again. Uh, so even if I did, uh, somebody has chicken pox, I go close to them also, I will not get it. Because I'm already immune. We are already immune from this disease. Uh, same goes to like any kind of flu and cough, any kind of influenza virus. Uh, for example, uh, when we get our flu and our cough, okay, we will recover from it. We will not get sick from that virus again. So of course, you will ask me, teacher, how come I can get flu so many times? Eh? Huh? I already get flu so many times in my life, you know. Huh? I already lost count. I don't. I don't even remember how many times I got flu. How come get, can get flu so many times? Huh? And then you say you will get immune from the flu. Now, student, you must understand. Huh? Flu is actually just a symptom. What are symptoms? Symptoms are actually just signal signs that your body are sick. Having the flu does not mean that your sickness is the flu. Is it? it could be other things, other viruses. Uh, for example, COVID. Let's talk about COVID. Now, COVID. What is, the, what is the actual effect of COVID? COVID attack your lungs. COVID attack your lungs. The actual, actual, the real effect of COVID is it attack your lungs. Make you have difficulty in breathing. Attacks your lungs. That is the real effect. But what is a symptom? Symptom sore throat. Oh. Symptom muscle pain. Oh. Symptom tired. Symptom fever. Symptom coughing. You know. What has all of this got to do with your lung? Nothing at all. But that one is symptom. Eh. So having the same symptom does not mean that you have gotten the same virus. Now, even if the virus is the same, like COVID. Why people can get COVID many times? Like I've heard people got four, five, six, some got 20 times COVID, you believe? Huh? Nurses, doctors, they work at hospital one, 20 times they get COVID. Huh? How is it possible? How is it possible? Because when a virus grows in a person's body, it will mutate. It will go through this thing called mutation where it will change a little bit. For example, uh, the original COVID virus, uh, March 2020, uh, maybe look like this. Yeah. After infecting millions of people, uh, it will keep changing. Uh. It become like this. Maybe today, Omicron look like this. The Antibody in your body looks like this. Omicron looks like this. How to fight that? Agree. That's why a person who have gotten the original, Omic original COVID can get sick again when they get COVID Delta. Can get sick again when they get COVID Omicron. And now got even newer one, Omicron BA5. They can get sick again because it's all different antigens okay uh, but the story is you will not get sick from the same virus okay now take a look at the graph graph very important when it comes to understanding immunity uh, you will realize that every combination will have one graph the graph will tell us how immune you are okay how to read the graph first simple X axis, horizontal axis, it is the time. It could be days, it could be months, it could be weeks, it could be years. 
Vertical axis, Y axis, is the number of antibodies or antibody concentration. C O N C concentration. Okay, yeah. Now, what happened is you can see, yeah, there is a red color line there. The red color line, we call it as a level of immunity or we call it immunity level. What is the red color line doing there? Very simple. For you not to get sick, you must be above this line. That means your level of antibody must be above this line. That means, uh, look at the green color line. Uh. Not safe, 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 not safe. The moment they cross above the line over here, this person is safe already. Will not get sick. Okay. So you see, uh, why, how come there are two types? Okay, you see. Uh, first exposure to antigen X means first time when we get sick. Okay. The first time when we get sick and then we recover from it, uh, maybe the response from your body is not strong enough because when your body gets sick and recover when they are making the antibody yeah, they are learning you know learning learning like you like you it's exactly like you i teach you one time you don't understand teach you second time you also don't understand teach you third time you also don't understand teach you the fourth time only you understand it's like you like Rarely, uh, we understand things on the first time. Uh. Same goes to your body. Uh. You let your body exposed to antigen X the first time. They got learned, they got learned, they got learned. They learn a little bit, learn a little bit, learn a little bit, learn a little bit, learn a little bit. But then, they will forget, 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 forget. Like you lah. Uh. Today, I teach you this. Uh. Tonight, you forget. Uh. Believe me or not. I teach you this now. Now, 4 o'clock. Uh. 5 o'clock almost. Uh. Later on, 8 o'clock. After your dinner, you forget. Uh. But never mind. Next week you come back. I do recap with you. Second exposure. I recap with you again. Oh, then you will understand, you know. Ah, and then you understand, 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 understand. Well, they keep on making the antibody shoot up. Once it cross the level of immunity, you can see you have enough immunity already. Means that you will remember this forever or remember this until you finish your exam. That's why some people, after getting sick for the first time, they get sick the second time very quickly. But after they get sick the second time, they won't get sick again because already above the immunity level. Is it that every time must get sick twice? No. Sometimes get sick once is enough. Sometimes get sick once is enough for it to shoot up. Sometimes get sick once, not enough. Twice, not enough. Must get sick three times. Up, down. Up, down. Boom. Three times. I like you lah. Teach you today, you don't understand. Next week, recap, you don't understand. I do revision only, you understand. Is it possible or not ah? Your body can never get active natural immunity for certain kind of virus. Yes, possible. Possible. You will see this. Lah. Get sick once, twice, three times, four times. Continue. Can yeah, possible. There are some viruses, there are some pathogens. Lah. Our body just cannot get, uh, yeah, it just cannot get, I mean, uh, produce antibody for it. It's possible. Like you are teach you thousands of times, so you don't understand. Right? Also, got it. Uh, like right. Okay, so active natural immunity comes when you recover from a disease. I don't know. Now, move on to the next one. Uh, next one active artificial. Right? Active artificial. So, active still the same meaning means that your body keep on producing. Artificial means, means that from outside the body. From outside the body must give must give to your body must give to your body so how do you give to your body through injection through injection and we call this as vaccine this is actually just vaccine okay so inside the vaccine contain the antigen weak or dead antigen you inject in your body you will put the antigen in your body it is just like getting sick but you are getting sick in another way you are getting sick without the virus Ah, 
So your body will start to produce the antibody. Okay, so the story, same story. The graph is the same story. You inject the vaccine for the first time, they will know how to create the antibody. Create, 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 create. Then, not enough for. Because it's below, below the level of immunity. So, it will drop. A drop never mind. This is when you have booster. Ah, that's why you got two dose. A booster come, a booster come, boost. Ah, this time they create, 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 boom. Be above the level of immunity. Then they will already understand it. Ah, they will already understand it. Okay. So that's why we must take the booster. Very important. That's why we say must full dose. Fully vaccinated. Fully vaccinated because uh, partially vaccinated, partially vaccinated is just like not vaccinated at all. Fully vaccinated, uh, then it's above here. Okay, as long as you're above here, here, ga, here, ga, here, ga, doesn't matter. Uh, you see, here, uh, why must take a third dose, third dose, fourth dose, fifth dose? Is it because this thing drop? Uh? Uh, not really. This thing is not really dropped. Why we take so many dose? Because your body is facing different variant of COVID, like I say. So now you take the vaccine, eh, your body gets stronger and stronger against this virus. Then easily they can identify, even if it's a different variant. Also, of course, lah, to boost this even higher, lah. Uh, to uh, then you booster yeah you boost some and uh, then boost some uh, like this lah. There are some vaccine that you don't need to keep on taking one. Take one time, two time enough. Like last time, just now we mentioned all the P B C G M M R M R D T A P. You take one time only. You never take again. Lah. When you are baby, you take lah. One years old, two years old, three years old, four years old, five years old. Now you never take. Enough already. You take five years old enough to last until you die. COVID also lah. At some point in time, we will stop taking it. At some point in time. Maybe this year, maybe next year, we will stop it. Cannot be taking vaccine forever. If taking vaccine forever, that's not called vaccine anymore. Okay, clear. <laughs> 